Hello everyone and welcome to Caroline's Craft Tree. Today is a new freebie and for March, diamonds and daffodils. And as usual you get the three collage papers. So I hope you'll check back in the other videos and pick up all the other freebies from 2021 as well as 2020. So for this one I printed off a few extra sheets of I have lots of like business cards, the perforated ones that you just tear apart and different sticker papers and whatnot. So I went ahead and I printed some of the collage papers on them just so you can see. So this one is Avery cardstock and and it's like business cards. So here is one of the freebies printed on that. Then I thought once you tear them apart, let me just quickly do this one. Because you could use the edges too. So then you have a cute little card. And these I thought turned out really cute. And I don't know why I haven't done this in the past. I've seen people do it and it just kind of clicked the other day that I should be doing. Now these are business cards, but they have this pinkish colored flower on the back. And this is what one of the collage papers, this was from um, February, I believe, the freebie. But that turned out really nice. You can see the pink flowers a little bit through the printing. And this one you could, there's no writing on the sides. So you could easily use the sides of this as well. Uh, let's go ahead and break one of these out. If we can. Some are a lot harder to get out than others. Normally I'd break all the outside apart. That is so cute for a little journaling card, etc. So there's that one. Now this is a really old um, labels. So they are the stickiness. There's not a whole ton of stickiness left in these because, as I say, they are really old. But a little bit of glue would help with that and this is it printed on there and let's see if I can I find that once it's printed it's really hard to see the lines of the stickers or labels now these were like an address label but how cute is that for putting on a project instead of using you know a number label or something and like these stickers are quite thin you can even see the design through the back so i think once they're down on something it'll almost look like tape so let's put that relatively down there and then there is this here now this are the little address labels the sheet half use. So let me just pull up one of the stickers. But these are clear. Now these are a Avery paper. So I printed one of the collage sheets on there. And as you can see, it really went blurry. Um, and what isn't on a label um, has stayed wet. Now I just have an inkjet printer, so these might be for 
um, a laser jet or something. I'm not really sure. But when you peel it up, it has the color to it. Let's find it. It's the color, and when you put it down, it actually looks like a piece of tape that's all colored up. It actually looks very, very cool. Not sure how well the camera's picking it up, but even though it turned out blurry, it looks so cool when it's done. So I think these are going to be pretty cool. And there's like 80 stickers or something like that on this sheet. So or maybe 30, no, more than 30, I don't know, lots anyways on one sheet. Then I had these round labels, so and these are an Avery product, I've gotten these at the thrift store, people have given them to me, etc. So I have a, quite a collection of all these different sizes. <clears throat> so here is the round label, and again, how cute is that as a little accent on a project? So, and every one is going to be different. So that is cool as well. And then I've got these weird um, stickers. They're just like an address sticker, but the whole sheet is full of them. And I think I got those at the thrift store one day. But here is one, a sheet printed out. Now it's got the border, but it can be cut off. It's, so, and again, how cute is that for a sticker or a label design on there? Get one that doesn't have the. And then another little number label on the top or something. They'll look really cool. And as I say, I don't know why I never printed out on any of these before. I've had all these labels and whatnot for quite a while. And the other day it just dawned on me to print on them. And I've seen other people print on them as well. But I just never did it. So I hope you enjoy these. I hope you will go and get the March freebie as well as the other freebies and I would appreciate it if you subscribed, liked, shared all those good things with my channel and join me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, all the social media places and we will see you again soon. Bye for now.